Despite the fact that it's already surprising us, someone just keeps on doing better and better every time. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is my review for The Accountant, the new Ben Affleck film that was directed by Gavin O'Connor. And first off, I want to say that I actually like Gavin O'Connor's movies. I've followed him for a little while now. Bride and Glory is a pretty decent film, and then he also did Warrior, which was absolutely phenomenal. So when I heard that he was doing a movie with Ben Affleck about being a savant mathematician who can both kill people really well, as well as cook the books, or uncook the books for criminal organizations that just sounds so interesting and that's this whole movie in a nutshell is it's interesting it's engaging it is one of my favorite movies of the year so far because it's just it's original it's finally an original idea from hollywood and it's so good the whole basis of ben affleck's character is that he's a savant child who learned to adapt to what he has and he's put it towards being an accountant and basically helping people ever in his own way as well as cooking the books for criminal organizations he also knows how to shoot he knows how to fight he knows how to do all these things he's basically a lethal emotionless weapon and his acting in this movie is probably the best part by far the story is really good but ben affleck really becomes this character and he, we see him go through these motions and it's just Every moment we see him as a savant, learning how to basically get around the ideas of what a savant has to deal with was incredible. The amount of research and the amount of sort of around ideas that happen in this film are just so good. You'll be wanting to see what he does next, not just with what he does to progress the story, but just how his character reacts with the world. And this is something I also liked about this movie is this is what a person with an Osberg with Osberger's acts like not that stupid crap that Sheldon does in the Big Bang Theory if you knew a person like Sheldon in real life he wouldn't be funny you would think he's an asshole the second part is the story the script is absolutely impeccable there are so many layers to the story and there's so much that is told in a very brief period of time that you keep on thinking wow there's just another layer on top of it and it's a very engaging story there's so many parts to it and there's a lot of t twists and turns that happened in this film that actually caught me off by surprise and I was really happy with it. I was fully engaged, I was into the film the entire way and there's also some humor here and there too which is something I didn't expect from this film. The action scenes are also very well done. Some of them are not shot the greatest, admittedly the shaky cam's not the uh, not too good but the f gun fights are in nuts and brutal. A lot. It reminded me a lot of John Wick. John Barenthal's also in this movie. He's amazing. I'm loving that this guy's getting work. And just the last 10 minutes, you're going to be just jaw dropped because it's so amazing. Aside from the shaky cam, there are a few moments in the film that it doesn't hold your hand with what he's doing. So you're kind of just like, it's like watching Wall Street, Oliver Stone's Wall Street, because that movie doesn't hold your hand at all through the stock market. This film doesn't really hold your hand at all through the accounting business. So you're going to be a little bit left off in that. Some of the editing choices of where places are in the story are a little bit incoherent with how the main flow is, but that happens very rarely, and otherwise the film is fantastic. Gavin O'Connor once again shows that he's a very experienced, really good director, and he can bring something that's original. The script for this show and for this film is amazing. Ben Affleck, again, is absolutely great. This film takes a turn from things that you would normally see in films, and again, that's another thing that I like about it. Anna Kendrick's actually good in it, too. And what's funny is that this is a second movie that she kind of has a relationship with a killer, <laughs> a hired killer, because there was Mr. Wright, I think that's what she did, with Sam Rockwell. That was a really good movie, too. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I very much enjoyed watching this film i'm gonna give it a six out of seven it's really good it's one of my top 10 films of the year for sure ben affleck once again proving himself to be a stellar actor and i cannot wait for live by night later on in the beginning of next year anyway guys that's all for me see you guys next time